Hi, Eric Young with Utah ADV. Um, I'm also known as I'm No Saint on Expedition Portal, something you might not have known. Today, I'm talking about tank bags. I'm not one for clutter. I like things kind of clean and uh, out of the way. I, I like to be able to look at the, the, the tank and the, the yoke and the instruments and everything that way without any obstruction. But when I'm uh, on the road, when I'm traveling, especially long distances, um, I need a tank bag. I need something to hold the stuff that I just need to keep at hand. Uh, or in this case, also to hold a, a power brick that's going to go through and charge all the rest of my accessories. So um, that's uh, what I'm going to be talking about here is uh, this tank bag is made by Jivy. Uh, the model number is going to come up right here to let you know what it is. And uh, this particular bag was chosen for this particular tank because the tank itself was made to where uh, there's a very narrow backbone on it. And then as you can see, it drops here quite dramatically. And there are not a whole lot of bags that uh, fit well. I went through two different other Jivia bags, a 15 liter and a 6 liter bag, and uh, none of them, they didn't work. I wanted to, to use a tank lock system with this uh, like I have on the 800 XC, but, uh, the, but that wasn't going to happen. So I finally was able to find this narrow bag. Um, it's narrow enough to where it fits into the footprint of the spine of the tank. Uh, on this side of the Explorer, on both sides of the tank here, there's this indentation where the handlebars actually turn into. So if you had anything that was wider than this footprint on there, the bag would move from side to side or it would inhibit the turn of the handlebars if it were too big and if it were a tank lock bag. So, so I, uh, I went with this and then to maybe offset the, uh, the, the lack of cubic inch space for me to store stuff, um, I also picked up a couple of crash bar bags too. So um, the main things I keep in this, uh, the, the, the first thing is a Goal Zero uh, 100R battery. Uh, and it charges off the motorcycle continuously and then I use that to go through and charge all my devices. I keep a pair of liners in here, a pair of wool liners for my hands and then my gloves fit over all those and then I have just one pair of uh, just light riding gloves in here while on the other side of the uh, crash bar bags um, I have four other pair of gloves that I keep in there. Living in Utah and riding throughout here I'm going to go through 40, 50 degrees uh, worth of uh, temperature change anywhere from wearing my snowmobile gloves down to my light mesh gloves when I get down to southern Utah. In the trip we have coming up with the Pacific Northwest that's not going to be any different. We'll have freezing temperatures up uh, near uh, Glacier National Park in Canada and as we get down into the Central Valley of California things are going to get pretty toasty. So I need every, four basically five sets of gloves actually uh, that uh, will go through and help keep the riding safe and comfortable for me uh, as I'm going along. Um, other material that I keep in here, I have this little case and inside this case is uh, where I keep just all of the patch cables that I need to charge devices and to download uh, stuff if I'm downloading from my GoPro to my iPad or wherever. Um, I have all the electronics involved in there. Um, I've got this neat little uh, Swiss Army knife that was given to me by a close friend of mine with one favorite saying on top of there. Uh, some eye drops, uh, I keep my earplugs in there, um, those kinds of things. This little device on here is made by, uh, or is from RAI, and it's a towel inside of there. And I just use that to go through and uh, keep my visor clean. And it's always at hand there. I have uh, some spray uh, visor cleaner in there as well. Uh, I keep a small first aid kit and uh, just odds and ends that uh, you know any rider would want to keep at hand. On the crash bars on the both sides, I talked about the one side with the, um, the gloves on this side, I have all my rain gear and I have a down jacket that I use as, uh, as a mid layer there and then I also keep a uh, wool layering jacket inside here as well. So when I, if it starts to rain or we're getting a, a weather change, I pull over and it's quick in and out without a whole lot of hassle as opposed to getting in and out of the uh, panniers in the back. And, and they're not too bad to get in and out of. Um, I really like these bags, the uh, crash bags. They, uh, they're, they're built just like a dry bag would be where they uh, have a Velcro enclosure. And then they roll up like a dry bag would, like on a kayak, and then connect and, and keep everything nice and waterproof. The bag attaches to the tank with uh, two powerful magnets and the wings on each side. And then it has a strap that goes around the yoke 
I am back and I've secured that strap with a couple of zip ties just to keep anybody, well, anybody without a pair of dykes from stealing my bag there. And while the bag itself isn't entirely waterproof, it does come with this weatherproofing sack that cinches up around the bag in the event of a downpour. So um, that's about the long and short of it. Just the main thing to get out of this is the fact that the Explorer uh, will not work with any other uh, tank bag other than this narrow one. Um, and the only reason why I know that is because I went through three of them. And uh, thanks to RevZilla.com for working with me as I had to go through and exchange one bag after another after another. All told, uh, once uh, I, I settled on this, this bag plus the, the two crash bar bags was about the same amount of money as a 15 liter bag. So um, all things uh, considered there, uh, it was pretty well a wash as far as the cost. Um, and I've got more room here. Let's see, these are five liters each and six, uh, five, uh, 15 liters, about the same. So not much more room, but um, a little bit more flexibility with that, okay? So I uh, hope that helps you out. Uh, I'll put a couple of links to uh, these bags uh, in the uh, comments down below, okay? All right, thanks for watching Utah IDB. Uh, I think I'm gonna get out of here before it starts to rain.